how real is this? Can you break down the numbers for me? The dollar value, how many Mercedes cars will have Luminar LiDARs this year, next year? Give us the gritty details. <laughs> well, uh, well, great to be here and, and greetings from Stuttgart, Germany, where we are with Mercedes. So, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. I think this is absolutely, you know, very real when it comes down to it. I mean, in fact, that's part of the holistic goal is really seeing this industry transition from R&D when it comes to autonomous capabilities and actually putting it into series production. So this is really a landmark milestone when it comes to the holistic industry of getting this technology into consumer vehicles. And this is in contrast to, say, you know, the robo-taxi programs and other kinds of things historically that have been associated with autonomy, but actually getting it into people's hands on series production vehicles. So, you know, I mean, uh, Mercedes hasn't uh, discussed the specific vehicles that it, that it would be planned to be on or anything, in part because they haven't actually launched those those vehicles yet, you know, uh, holistically. Um, but it's, it's part of the um, uh, the right. next platform in terms of what it what is enabling. And, you know, they, they ship on the order of, you know, a couple million vehicles per year. But, you know, there, there's a uh, Obviously, you, you got to start somewhere with this, and um, this is a big leap forward for everyone. Mercedes had a LiDAR supplier. It wasn't you. You seem to have displaced someone. What was your pitch? I mean, what is the product here? Is this ADAS, if we're being honest? Is this just some advanced driver assistance features? Or is this Mercedes actually moving into semi-autonomous, fully autonomous functionality for consumer cars? Well, well, that's the beauty is that it's actually both. And, you know, there, there's a huge opportunity for improvement when it comes to even the fundamentals of assisted driving when it comes to this technology, as well as for the first time you can enable those truly autonomous uh, capabilities at this level of performance and at the speed that we can actually enable. Uh, generally, there's been a highway focus for those kinds of capabilities. Um, but when it, when it comes down to this and when it comes to the, the technology here, it's the same hardware that's able to advance both of the aspects of that. Um, so there's definitely benefits from both a safety standpoint as well as a time saving standpoint for the driver and that's that's what you know we believe is going to be able to drive the, the adoption with this and, and this is really only validating the thesis of everything that we've had from what we've been saying in the beginning and just continuing to execute and uh, be able to get to this stage of, of where we're at